We're back, and Tanya Andrews joins us to talk about, uh, you're not going to believe this, the 110th year of the Rogers County Fair. It's Amazing. been around that long? It is Rogers County's oldest event. My it is Lord. a tradition in Rogers County, a 110-year tradition. <laughs> well, I've been missing something. <sighs> well, come on out this year. You will have a great time. Let's talk a bit about what all goes into making the fair so popular. And is it still, I mean, is it still well attended? It's very well attended. Last year we had over 29,000 attendees. Really? Mm -hmm. You know, there are... There are so many different activities between um, the barns, the, the livestock events, the, the animal shows, the indoor exhibits through your 4-H and your um, OSU extension, the commercial vendors that are there, the carnival that's out in the parking lot. Um, I mean, it is, it is the true essence of a county fair. It's in a safe environment where families can come. Um, it's free. To, to get in, there's no you know no mm -hmm. admission, mm -hmm. and so they can come and have a great time at our county fair. Kind of the way a fair ought to be. Absolutely. Talk a little bit about the kids. I I'm going to have to refer to my notes here because I was I was amazed at this. RSU sponsors the Senior Showmanship Scholarship. Yes. For beef, dairy, swine, sheep, goat, and horse shows. Yes. That's a lot of money. It's an amazing, amazing scholarship program, a great partnership between Rogers State University and the Rogers County Fair Board to ensure that six senior um, who win the senior showmanship have a $1,000 tuition waiver to RSU their first year in college. That's great. It's amazing. Well, help me out here a little bit because I'm, I'm, missing, I'm missing a point. Um, these kids, as you said, can't have a swine in the backyard, but certainly they can have chickens, uh, you know, horses, whatever. Uh, so they treat their animals differently than the average horse owner or the average goat owner. And how does that work? What, what do they do differently? You know, they, they start at a very young age learning how to show their animal. First, they have to choose the species that they are really interested in, that they're really passionate about. Um, a heifer, let's say a heifer, which is a, a, a really popular one in Rogers County Ag. Mm -hmm. um, they have this, this cow, this heifer from a baby. They raise it, they take care of it, they feed it, they get it to the vet, they make sure it's up to date on its shots, they work, on, work with it every day um, in a ring um, to get ready for that, that show. And that show, as they, as they grow and the heifer grows and they become more one in sync in the show ring, um, they can move on up to the premium sale at the end of the fair. Once they get to a certain level within the, the fair itself and they get into the, the premium sale, local businesses and people are sponsoring their projects. So their projects are their heifers or their swine or mm -hmm. so it could be a two thousand dollar gift given at the premium sale by a private individual that ensures them to move on the next year and have money to do their project to enter other fairs to work with that animal um, you know it teaches them responsibility and commitment and loyalty so they don't necessarily have to give up the animal no no, they don't give up the animal. It, it truly is being paid for their hard work by um, a private donor, a business who believe in what these kids are doing. See, that, that changes my concept of all this. Because I thought, you know, well, at, at the end, they butcher the heifer. And what, what, what's for dinner, Oscar? <laughs> you know, and that just doesn't <laughs> ring true with me, or didn't. And now I understand how this works. Mm -hmm. It is, it is a, a lifetime commitment. A lot of these kids grew up on farms. Uh, they grew up in the ag world. And so they're going to carry on that tradition for a long time. Um, and that's what, that's what we want to see, especially in Oklahoma. We're a huge ag state. Does that, is that mentality and ability and talent passed on from generation to generation? Yes. 
and you can you can see it in the family lineage of a lot of the families that are on the fair board that volunteer at the fair their kids are there and we're talking a parent volunteering or the ag teacher is there and their two-year-old child is out there with them you know starting at daylight um, helping feed the animals and get the animals ready in the barn and get ready for the fair um, so you can see it from just little ones to mom and dad to grandma and grandpa great grandma and grandpa it's a great family tradition so they've all got a big smile on their face when it comes time to judge absolutely do you uh, do you see a lot of brothers and sisters with different projects yes because I would think there'd be a competitive spirit in the family. It's not unusual to see a brother and sister, um, you know, one sibling show in the fair and another sibling has other interests, athletics or band or some mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. ag related, but they're still there to support and help their sibling. You know, there, there's lots of families out there where you might have a sister that is showing a horse and you might have a brother who's showing a a pig um, and, and again they work together on the farm um, to take care of these animals um, so it it just depends on what the interests are but they're always working together you know I have a feeling I've missed a lot over the years we had chickens around us when, when I was mm -hmm. little and I recall you know when it was time for my grandmother to be thinking about dinner you know, the chase was underway. <laughs> and, yes. And ring the neck, pluck the bird, clean it. Put it in a pot. Put it in a pot, and here we go. Look out, Fred. And I miss those days. Mm -hmm. I miss those dishes. Um, well, anyway, what are the dates again for the fair? September 12th through the 15th at the Claremore Expo Center. Come one, come all. Absolutely. Open Love to, to have the public, you. no charge to get in. Correct. Hey, thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me, Sam. It's good to see you again. Good to see you, kid. <laughs> kid, I love it. <laughs> I'll come over sometime and sing for you. Okay, that'd be great. We're going to take a short break. <laughs> we'll be back with the final episode right after this. <laughs> 